Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. Did you know that you can say howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel to the tune of Robert Palmer's Simply Irresistible? It's a lot of fun. You should try it sometime. What we're going to try today is opening a Theros Beyond Death pack. Got this at the local game store. Uh, my, uh, my local big box store uh, recently phased out Theros Beyond Death. Not a whole lot going on. You don't see that there anymore. But I kind of like Theros Beyond Death because no Theros Beyond Death pack is completely without value. And you'll see why in a minute. This is kind of a baggy pack. I just want to point that out before we start. There's a lot of... A lot of, lot of room here. This is not a very tightly, tightly wrapped pack. Like you can shake it even. You can hear the, you can hear the cards going to town in there. Just shooka shooka shooka. Like, not a very tightly wrapped pack. But I hope that does not bode poorly for our chances. That is not quite the same as, uh, as a pack having the kind of fatness that I like. Uh, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. There's, yeah, Theros Beyond Death had some fun stuff in it. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Kind of tough to open that one. They they were hiding some national secrets in that one. So uh, they, they didn't want just any old person to get into it. So let's see what we got up front. We've got a Seder token. Our token is up front. A 1-1 one, one token that cannot block. And I think our land will be behind this. This seems to be a reverse pack. So we're going to want to move the rare, the rares and uncommons to the back in such like a way. So, uh, yeah, we've got a land here. These are the draw in this pack. These are these are a lot of fun. People called these uh, Pokemon lands because they look a lot like uh, Pokemon energy cards. They have a nice look to them. They're all illustrated by the same person, uh, Mr. Sam Burley. Or that might be a lady, uh, Samantha Burley. I, I am assuming, and that is not polite. Uh, so... Uh, Sam Burley, illustrator of all these things. They 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 have kind of a Pokemon energy card look to them. And uh, each one, these run about 99 cents a pop. So you get at least a dollar's value back generally on a Theros Beyond Death Pack. Which was why I liked opening them when they were around and you know still at least semi-current. Uh, Theros Beyond Death was sort of a time... When I got away from Magic for a while, uh, I was not buying it all during Theros Beyond Death or Ikoria. And now I've kind of missed out on some of that stuff, and I had a sad about it. So we've got our Pokemon land. We're going to move our rare to the back. We're going to move the three uncommons behind it, and I think that should get us going here on, on a bit of a more proper progression from common to rare we've got the poor tent of betrayal gain control of target creature until end of turn untap that creature it gains haste until end of turn and you scry one a lot going on there uh, costs red plus three to cast four mana total uh sorcery thaumaturge is familiar and artifact creature artifacts are not really what theros is about theros is more about enchantment so it's kind of ironic that we're Opening up with a with an artifact creature. Hey, that's more of what I'm talking about. See, enchantment creature. You got you got a lot of things in here that double as enchantments and other things. This is just a vanilla Cyclops. I don't think anybody cares too much about that. Ichthyomorphosis. This is a cute card. Blue plus two. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature loses all abilities and is a blue fish with base power and toughness zero one. I like the flavor text on that card. Too. Very funny. His military career was a flop. Wop up, wop, wop up, wop. Pun. Captivating unicorn here. It is very captivating. Uh, it has constellation, which triggers whenever enchantments enter the battlefield. They brought back that mechanic back, I think, from original Theros. Warbriar blessing. We uh, enchanted creature fights up to one target creature you don't control, and it gets plus zero, plus two. So fighting. Fighting is fun, and it gives you a little bit more of an edge in a fight by pumping up your toughness. We got the Discordant Piper here, and there's nothing more than he wants than two pipes at the same time, man. When it dies, create a 0-1 white goat creature token. Wouldn't that, shouldn't that be the other way around? Like, shouldn't it be a satyr that creates a zombie goat when it dies? That's that's kind of weird. You got the Eidolon of Philosophy here. Uh, not the most powerful of the Eidolons, surely, given that it is a common loathsome chimera that's what the ladies all called me in high school green plus two he's a four one chimera with an escape 
Escapes with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Escape is like you pay a ton of mana and exile a bunch of cards from your graveyard and it gets another effect. You get to you get to pay five mana and <laughs> you get to pay five mana and exile three cards for a single plus one, plus one counter. Who would ever, who would ever? There's way better ways to buff a card than that. Fruit of Tizeris. Doesn't look like the freshest fruit you've ever seen. For one black, target player loses two life. Um, I think I would just cast it for one, even at sorcery speed. Uh, no real need for an it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, well, that's the rare, I guess. I guess I put all the uncommons behind it. Whoops. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, our rare is Arasta of the Endless Web, a spider. Green, green, two, a three, five legendary enchantment spider with reach. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1-2 green spider token with reach. No, we didn't get the spider token. We got the satyr token. The satyr token. That's the wrong one. But uh, I have some mild curiosity about putting together a spider tribal deck at some point. So this is cute. This is cute enough, I would say. Uh, so I'm not completely displeased with this. Although there's no such thing as a valuable spider card, really. Uh... Most of the cost in building a spider tribal deck would be in enchantments, which can get pretty pricey. Uh, and now I guess we'll look at our... I guess I did it wrong. We'll look at our... Did I put the... Did I really put the uncommons behind the rare? I guess I did. I didn't think I was doing that, but uh, now we now we get to a bit of an anticlimax here. We've got the Scophos Maze Warden, the Hero of the Winds. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Hero of the Winds, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. That is a human soldier. I guess technically that's the human riding on the back of the Pegasus there. But, uh, okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. And Farica's Spawn. A Gorgon. It would be cool to do Gorgon Tribal, but there's not a whole lot of Gorgon cards. But, yeah, we ended up with a Spider today, which for most people is not terribly exciting. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, the more Spiders I'm able to accrue for the, for the future, whenever I build a really stupid spider tribal deck that sucks uh the better so there we go uh, little little commander action for your spy this isn't even the card i would use as the commander for spider tribal i would at least want probably some black in there too but uh that that does it for us today theros beyond death i'm gonna guess that the swamp was the most valuable card in the pack i'm gonna guess unless arasta here is more than a dollar which is kind of a which is kind of a feat for a spider to achieve. See, that's what happens a lot. Even if your pack sucks, you still get the Pokemon land. Look at that thing. Those things are gorgeous. Oh man. That's why I love buying Theros Beyond Death Packs. I'll never be up too upset with a Theros Beyond Death Pack because you get the lovely Pokemon energy card. I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a lovely day.